Guys, we can talk about techniques until I'm blue in the face and still the majority won't get it. Why is that? Because techniques don't matter. You see a lot of videos talking about, you know, the secret to manifestation, the one thing, you know, the, the hack, right? It's not about hacks and tricks. And I, and I don't want you guys to get bogged down in this. I don't want you guys to, to keep running on the treadmill of the next best thing. And like, how do I do it? I want you guys to succeed. I want you guys to get off of YouTube. I want you to forget that I exist. <laughs> and I want you to live the life that you want to live. I'm not saying techniques are bullshit. I'm saying techniques are a means to an end. And everyone's going to be a little bit different. So affirmations work for one person. Visualization works for someone else. Image boards for someone else. So on and so forth. So find the technique that works for you. But the point of this video is... What's it really about? What are we trying to do? We're trying to impress the subconscious mind. So the part of the mind that we don't have conscious control over. That's what all these techniques are trying to do. But really when you get right down to it, the fundamentals of manifestation of this world that we have created, and make no mistake, we have created it. This is our world and every person's life, their perspective, their view of the world is their own personal universe. The fundamental truth, the basics of how this shit works is you get exactly what you feel. You don't get what you want. I think we're all aware of that by now, right? You get what you feel. You get what you are, who you are. Now I'm using the word feel on purpose instead of the word believe. Believe is just as accurate, just I think the word has lost some of its meaning. I think people say, oh, I believe this, but they don't really, you know, not really. They think that. They think this to be true, but they don't believe it to be true. Belief, true belief is balls to bones, no doubt. One hundred percent conviction. So what I mean by you get what you feel to be true is you get what you feel to be true about yourself and the world around you. So if you wake up every morning and recite affirmations, I'm rich, I'm rich, I have a million dollars in the bank, blah, 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 blah. But in the back of your head, you're going, mm, no, I don't. Or you look at your bank account later that day and you're like, oof. You don't really believe it. You don't feel it. You need to feel it. And that doesn't mean that you're like living in this state of excitement. Because remember what we talked about excitement is like the positive end of anxiety. And this is where the work starts. And it doesn't matter how you do it. It doesn't matter what technique you choose. It doesn't matter if you meditate or not. What you have to do is build up a resistance to seeing the unwanted reality. So you're looking at bank account and you've only got a hundred bucks in there. You have to stop. You have to cut off the reaction and you have to not believe it. And you shouldn't believe it because it's not real. 
Everything you see is a reflection of your internal world. Everything, man. I cannot stress that enough. If you're ever tempted to look at the world around you and go, oh yeah, but like that's a stretch, that's probably a coincidence. No. It may not be what you think it is, but it is there because it comes from within. Everything, everything you see and experience comes from within. That's the work. So if you choose to sit down and meditate for an hour every day, it doesn't even have to be that bad. Like, let's not load on the commitment here. Let's say 15 minutes every day you choose to meditate and that is your means of taking control of your mind so that you don't have emotional reactions to the things you don't like. So that you can train your mind, train your emotions, train yourself to feel the way you want to feel so that you can reflect out the reality you want to experience. If you want to do it with meditation, fine. That's cool. That's fantastic. But it's not the secret, right? It's not the only way to do it. If you want to do it with affirmations and that works for you, great. If you like vision boards, fantastic. I've known a few people who have gotten exactly what they wanted off their vision board. Yeah, and we're talking about people who are like, I'd, like I'd describe them as not strong believers. It's like, oh yeah, whatever, I'll do a vision board. And they forget about it, right? And shit came, come, comes true, man, like to the detail. Whatever works for you doesn't matter. The point is to feel the version of you that has the life you want. And I know this sounds vague, and you know what? I don't care. Because I've been on the treadmill, man, the, tread, the treadmill rather. <laughs> I've been on the treadmill and I don't want anyone else to be on the treadmill because we don't need to be there. It's still coming from a place of lack. Oh, I need the new, I need to find, I need to figure out how to do it because I don't know how to do it. I don't have the knowledge. I don't have the ability. And this is for all the people who, who believe, right? Believe that this shit is possible. But in the back of their mind, they're like, mm, but not for me. Bruh. <laughs> I've been there. And that's tough, you know? But it's not like you, you, you really need to understand that no one is special in the best way possible. Anything you could possibly want is available to you. And there is no limit. There are no limited resources. Even if you're like, if you're watching all these videos and you're going like, yeah, I believe that I can manifest $5 million or whatever. Oh, but everyone else is manifesting $5 million too. So like, I better do it quick. Because money's running out. Money's not running out, man. Like, we really, we kind of have to be delusional, you know? Compared to how we're raised to think, right? We're raised in this, in this physical reality and, you know, this is real and... Anything that you can't see, smell, taste, and touch is not real. But the only reason that any of this is real is because it is within you to begin with. The secret, the one thing is you. It really is the universe. And I don't expect this to flip a switch and you just go, well, of course, and suddenly you have everything you want, right? Hey, if that happens, <laughs> I 
I'm happy for you. That's great. The point is that you have to keep reminding yourself of this fact that everything is you reflected out. You are a, you're a walking projector. And what you put in front of the projector is what you feel to be true. You have to be so stubborn. It takes practice and I cannot emphasize that enough. The practice is the work. It's the important part. And you will get to a point where eventually the scales tip. And you realize, oh shit, I no longer believe that negative thing about myself. I now believe that I am rich, attractive, lucky. Identity is huge. All right, just ran out of memory on my audio recorder, which is a sign that I need to stop. I have said what I needed to say. And I want you to remember that your reality reflects what you feel to be true. What you feel about yourself, what you feel about the world. And the key, if there is any, is practice. You have to keep practicing. Learn not to react, not to let the world around you sway your emotions. Make the world around you conform to your emotions because that's how it works. What you feel, your identity, as always, take what resonates and discard the rest.